I want to say this is your friendly cowboy because that's who I am. I don't know why I say I want to say your friendly cowboy. Anyway, I want to put a shout out real quick and talk about a few things. Uh, the shout out for the thing I want to talk about is life and that some people's lives are cut short, some people's lives are long, and some people's lives are sometimes filled with a little bit of heartache. There's always a rainbow at the end of that heartache, usually. So, I'm throwing that out there because I love you, Kendall. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, I saw the other day that you posted uh, that uh, you have cancer again or it's come back. Uh, and I want to let you know that I think about you every single morning. See? It's my coffee cup. Now, granted, I'm drinking some sweet tea out of it right now but I wanted to let you know that every single morning I drink out of that coffee cup I think of you okay and I say a little prayer to the man upstairs and uh, hope that you get through this good I know you got a lot of people saying prayers for you and especially your husband being the preacher and all so I wanted to throw that out there and I wanted to say that you know anybody that's battling cancer uh, just remember that uh, if you do lose the battle, remember it's not the end. God's always waiting for a whole bunch of angels to come up there and help him out. Sometimes they come slow, sometimes they come fast. But my family and myself, we really don't have cancer. My mom says that on her side of the family there's a little bit of cancer. But most of us die of heart attacks pretty quick. In fact, my dad's had five of them. He's got a stent in his heart, and uh, or a stent in his. He's got five stents in it around his heart, and uh, he's got a DNR on his uh, medical records now. And so many people that are nurses know what that is. But that's what I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people with cancer. And my friend Kendall Long. Well, it's not Kendall Long no more. It's just Kendall. He got married. I don't have her Facebook up, so I don't know her last name. Sorry. But, uh, spent just about all of Blair School uh, going to school with her in just about every class. Of course, everybody was in just about every class because we only had a few classes and there was only 27 of us. Uh, we've already lost a few people in our family. Uh, I consider our family the people we went to school with. Uh, because when you have 27 people going from 4th grade to 12th grade, they're, they're your family. But, uh, we lost Wendy. And, uh, we lost Cindy Gray a long time ago, but that wasn't because of cancer. Uh, I think we lost a few other people. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I haven't been able to reach everybody in my class, but I'm trying. Uh, lost a few teachers in the wake. Jim Dollar. Never talked about him, but he used to be the person that, uh, that he was like a surrogate father to some of us. And, uh, God bless him. And Stacy, your dad was a great guy. He used to ask me how I'd want my spankings. I know y'all gonna laugh about that, but yeah, I used to stay in his office quite a bit sometimes, and most times because I wouldn't listen in school. And uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there because, believe it or not, I miss y'all guys. I don't get to see y'all hardly ever. Last person I got to see really for a while was, uh, I got to see, uh, Michael Owens. And I got to see, uh, Blaze up there in, uh, Chickasha. I used to hang out with him in a little while, but that was a long time ago. That's nearly 20 years ago. Maybe a little bit less. No, about 20 years ago. 
back in 96, 98, something like that. Uh, but uh, I saw him about four years ago, three or four years ago, up in Chickasha. So when that tornado came through Chickasha, I was up there, believe it or not. We actually caught, uh, saw it come down and hit the ground. We kind of went out afterwards, but, uh, but anyway, I just want to say, Kendall, praying for you. Sorry that you have cancer. Uh, I have it for good authority that you'll make it through this one like you made it through the other one. You're a strong woman. And we love you. Just take care of yourself, Kendall. Tell your husband if he doesn't take care of you, there's a whole lot of people from Blair are going to get him. Uh, and another shout out to uh, Yvonne. She's been dealing with a sickness that's lasted over a year. and She told me the other day, we were talking on Facebook, and said she's been sick for over a year. She did medication or the antibiotics are giving her are not working very well. So I'll be saying a prayer for you too also, Yvonne. And uh, I'm still healthy. I thought I had a hernia, but the doctor said I just, I was just too mean. It was coming out of my stomach. I don't know. I thought I had a hernia, but so far nothing here. Uh, but every once in a while, give me a holler at people and let me know what you think. And I don't know if you know this, Kendall, but I have a Facebook magazine and uh, periodically I talk about Christian things and political things and music things and relationship things. So uh, subscribe to it. I don't know if you already have. It's called The Cowboy Way. And uh, it's on Facebook. It's it's a picture of Blair, Oklahoma. It's the Facebook page. Or picture on the Facebook page. Just Blair. Not a picture of me. Uh, top of my heading is like a cowboy sitting down with a hat. And, and the horse is standing over him. He's like laying in the shade. But uh, I love you, Kendall. Take care of yourself, girl. You too, Yvonne. And everybody else out there, take care of yourself. But remember... <laughs> Excuse me. Thinking of you every single morning, Kendall. God bless. And everybody in the choir says, Amen. Cowboy Way. Talk to you later. Bye.